Red Army is the story of the Soviet Union's world dominance in ice hockey during the Cold War and how it was used as a propaganda tool. An engaging story that is as much about life in Russia as it is about ice hockey, the documentary is presented out of competition at the Cannes Film Festival. Director Gabe Polsky, a hockey player himself, said it was the Red Army team's collective style on the rink that drew his interest, as opposed to the American game, which relied on brutal individuality. You know, I preferred kind of this, this style of play, and I think it really evolved sport and hockey, you know, to another level. Um, and that really kind of piqued my interest about, you know, the Soviet Union and my roots, you know, through, through hockey. And I wanted to explore why, how, how they got so good and, and, you know, what was going on over there. The film centers on Vecheslav Fetisov, a Red Army uh, recruit here, whose career here, spanned the key point. turning points in his country's history. Hockey was the most popular sport in the Soviet Union because the Soviet hockey team represented the peak of what the Soviet Union had achieved and was proof that the Soviet system was the best system. So it was not sport, it was, it was politics, really. Uh, Gabe uh, Polsky is a very talented uh, kid. He tried to bring me into the film from the beginning. And uh, for some reason, I didn't like it, though. But then, uh, first time I met him for 15 minutes, well, that's what he said. We end up to talking in front of camera for six hours about you know the team, the hockey, political situation, life and stuff like that. They always call us a red machine, but we human beings in the first place. Produced by the Werner Herzog, Jerry Weintraub Dream Team, Red Army is presented in the special screenings program at the Cannes Film Festival.